Nearly every major production company in the entertainment industry at some level has been infiltrated by activists. Activists who care far more about pushing an agenda than they do about actually telling a story. And as a result, so many of these corporations have bent the knee. They've gone out there and they virtue signaled. They've told everybody how much they care about their agenda and that they're going to do everything to show your stories on screen until push comes to shove. They have no problems pushing this down our throats in the West, but when it comes to a release in some place like China, well, then all of a sudden they get very quiet, don't they? This is Warner Brothers telling everyone, their artists, their employees, their fans in the LGBTQ plus community, how much they appreciate you, but they have to do better. They have to do a better job of making sure you get represented on screen. Well, fast forward to today, Warner Brothers bows to China by censoring gay dialogue in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. So it looks like Dumbledore still has a secret, at least in China. This entire thing is ridiculous because if you are a Harry Potter fan and you read the books, you know that there was in no way, shape, or form anything mentioned that Dumbledore was gay. It was only afterwards, once J.K. Rowling decided to start rewriting all of her things to make sure it was super woke, you know, when she said Hermione can be black, even though she specifically said her face was black pale. Then she said, oh yeah, of course Dumbledore was gay. Everyone knows it was never hinted to in the books whatsoever. Nevertheless, in the third Fantastic Beast movie, there's a scene between Dumbledore and Grindelwald where he admits that he was in love with him, that this is what was going on between those two characters. And I, I even have a little bit of the scene for you. You can't see it in China, evidently, but you can see it here. So it's just a couple seconds long. It's what we said we'd do. Because I was in love with you. There you go. Because I was in love with you. The secrets of Dumbledore still in the closet if he's in China. Warner Brothers has bowed to the Chinese authorities by removing gay dialogue from its blockbuster sequel, Fantastic Beasts, uh, Secrets of Dumbledore, with the studio justifying its active artistic censorship by describing it as nuanced cuts and minor edits. And we have the full quote right here. As a studio, we're committed to safeguarding the integrity of every film we release, and that extends to circumstances that necessitate making nuanced cuts in order to respond sensitively to a variety of in-market factors, a Warner Brothers spokesperson said in a statement sent to multiple outlets. The studio said it agreed to censor the scene in order to comply with local requirements, but the spirit of the film remains intact. So they cut out six seconds of that gay dialogue there you know, verifying that Dumbledore and Grindelwald were indeed playing hide the wand with each other. That's why how they ended up being connected. And there's a couple things to take away from this. First, it's funny that Warner Brothers is getting backlash for this, right? That Warner Brothers, who's trying to appeal to this crowd, who's saying, we care about gay people. We're going to put more of it in our stories. But you only put it in there where you are allowed to force agenda down people's throats. When it's somewhere where you know you'll get too much backlash, then you remove it. And of course, there's people right now that are taking a ton of shots at them. It's pathetic how willing movie studios are to censor even the most perfunctory LGBTQ plus token moments, in this case, six seconds, in order to secure a Chinese release. It's funny, yeah, they're like, we're gonna put such a memorable gay scene in here. By the way, the entire thing with a six second edit can be completely removed from the movie and it has no meaning whatsoever. That should tell you that it's literally just done to check a box. It's literally just done to, for release in America to satisfy certain activist groups, to make you feel represented because they put a little line of dialogue in there. In the meantime, you're also alienating a bunch of people who realize that you're doing this for virtue signal points, that it's not about the story, it's about ticking boxes. It's pathetic for Warner Brothers, who already has enough backlash to deal with when it comes to this movie. Fantastic Beast 3 earns lowest international box office opening of the franchise. Franchise. And between Johnny Depp and what's going on with that, people despise Amber Heard and are very much behind Johnny Depp and did not want him removed from this role, did not want him recast with Mads Mikkelsen, but it happened. And of course, Ezra Miller continues to get arrested, continues to cause drama. He's in this movie as well with all of these things playing against them. Now yet another controversy for Warner Brothers to deal with, all because they decided to put something in the movie that wasn't required, that wasn't necessary, that was literally just a virtue signal. 
but they didn't have the balls to do it internationally because they knew they wouldn't make any money. Pathetic from Warner Brothers, and they deserve all the criticism they can get. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.